um, well. And uh, I'd like to, to give a big welcome to our webinar where we'll be speaking about some new research that's been carried out on our Provox Life HMEs and base plates from the Gemelli Hospital in Rome in Italy. So this is a really great opportunity if you wanted to know more about the performance and benefits of Provox Life HMEs and adhesives, as I know some of you will have switched to this um, Provox Life range already. And I think although we anticipated uh, that the Provox Life range would be beneficial to people after laryngectomy, it's always good to have actual clinical evidence from people who've had a laryngectomy that the HMEs actually work well. So I'm now going to hand over to my nurse colleague, Jack. Thank you, Alison. So just a quick disclaimer before we go on. This is a corporate presentation from ATOS Medical Group. Nothing in this presentation provides any diagnosis, clinical advice, indication, guide or warranty or guarantee. Nothing in this presentation is a substitute for individual advice or guidance from a qualified healthcare professional. Any of the testimonials relate to how one individual has experienced the use of Provox Life products and every person will get uh, different results. Uh, this event is being recorded and live streamed on Facebook. By joining this webinar, you are consenting to being recorded and live streamed during this event. And next slide, please. So just to introduce ourselves before we get started, my name's Jack Gould. I'm the ATOS Care Head and Neck Nurse for the North West and North Wales. Um, today I'm joined by Alison Dempster, um, an ATOS clinical education, educator and speech and language therapist by backgrounds. And just a bit of housekeeping, um, all of your cameras and microphones are off and will be for the webinar. So if you have any questions at all or things that you'd like to share, any comments or tips, uh, you can use the chat box at the bottom of the screen um, to share these with everyone. So just to get things started, uh, we, th we thought we'd start off with a quick poll um, to find out who's joining us today. So the first question is, how long, have you, how long ago did you have your surgery? And then there'll be a second question, uh, do you currently use a HME? And we'll just give everyone a, a minute or so just to answer those. And then we'll have a look at the results. Perfect. So if we could have a little look at the poll results to see who's joining us today. And lovely. So we've got a, a good mix of people today um, joining us. We've got some 10% are less than a year. 30% are a year to two years, 20% of you are three to five years, and you've got 10%, five to 10, and then 30%, which are 10 years plus. So a really wide range of, um, of people here today with lots of different experiences and different knowledge. Um, and then looking at this, do you use HME? 100% of you say you do, which is brilliant, which is, really good to hear um, that you're doing that. And then 20% of you are using the Provox. And then 80% of you are using the Provox Life, which is great to hear. So it looks like we've got a, a good mix of people on today. Definitely. Lovely. So 
That's lovely. So now I will hand over to Alison, who's going to speak about the evidence uh, behind the Provox Life range. Thank you, yeah, thanks, Jack. And with 80% of you using the Provox Life range, um, this is going to be even more um, interesting for you to, to hear about. So I'm really excited to be telling you about this new study um, that's been carried out with people who have had a laryngectomy that's just come out very recently. The study was carried out in Italy, as I said, by an Italian ear, nose and throat surgeon and a speech and language therapist. Now, they wanted to find out if using the new Provox Life HMEs and base plates actually makes a difference to people's coughing, mucus and shortness of breath after laryngectomy. They also wanted to find out how satisfied people were with the new range and how many hours in a day they would use the new HMEs for compared to the HMEs they normally wore. So 40 patients took part in the study who'd had a laryngectomy. And as I said, all the people that took part in the study were already using other types of Provox HMEs and base plates for a large number of hours during the day and overnight before the study started. So the people who took part in the study were split into two groups. The first group used the Provox HMEs they normally wore, which were Provox Extra Flow and Extra Moist. The second group used HMEs from the Provox Life range. So they were monitored and assessed for six weeks. And then the groups then swapped over. So the first group, the group who had been using Provox Extra Flow and Extra Moist, switched to Provox Life HMEs. The group who had been using the Provox Life HMEs switched to Provox Extra Flow and Extra Moist, and they wore these for another six weeks and were closely assessed and monitored. Now, the data was collected over the 12 week period. Everyone was asked to keep a diary to record the amount of mucus, coughing, and shortness of breath that they experienced over that 12 week period. Specific questions about coughing and mucus were also asked using formal healthcare questionnaires, as well as questions relating to mobility, activities, self-care, discomfort and pain, and well-being. So let's now have a look at what the study showed. I just wanted to stress that the people who took part in the study were already wearing HMEs for a high number of hours in the day, so any improvements brought about by using Provox Life were very, very important. Okay, just moving on to the next slide, please. Okay, so the main finding of the study was that using the Provox Life range of HMEs significantly improved people's lung health who took part in the study. As we know, after laryngectomy, excessive coughing and mucus are one of the biggest challenges. And this study showed that when using Provox Life with its better performing HMEs, the amount of coughing that people experienced was significantly reduced. And this is very important to people following laryngectomy. Next slide, please. Now the term humidification refers to the amount of water vapour or moisture in the air that we breathe in. Before laryngectomy, a large amount of moisture is given, the, given to the air we breathe by the nose and the nasal cavity. And we know that we need a certain amount of moisture in the air we breathe to have nice healthy lungs and to keep the buildup of mucus at bay. After laryngectomy, however, the air you breathe in no longer moves through the nose and the nasal cavity. And so that air that you're breathing in is dry. And this is what causes lots of mucus and coughing. Now, wearing an HME over the stoma gives the air you breathe moisture to make the lungs work well and cut down on mucus and coughing. And this is why it's so important to wear an HME 24 hours per day, even overnight. We can see, if we look at the chart, um, the levels of moisture in the breathed in air after laryngectomy. The first bar on the left of the chart is the level of moisture in the breathed in air directly through the stoma, so with no HME worn. 
and we can see that with no HME on, this is the lowest level of moisture in the breathed air, so very bad for the lungs. And if you don't wear an HME at all, you're likely to experience lots and lots of coughing and mucus. If we look at the next bar, which is the moisture levels in breathed in air when using Provox HMEs, so extra moist and extra flow, the moisture level's gone up a good bit, which is good. So that's of benefit to the lungs and the amount of coughing and mucus should be reduced. However, we can see from bar three that when Provox Life HMEs are worn, the moisture given to the breathed air increases even further. And this is what's really going to help the lungs stay even more healthy and reduce coughing and mucus even more than when wearing Provox HMEs. So the final bar on the right in this chart is the moisture level given to the air we breathe in before laryngectomy, where it moves through the nose in the nasal cavity. And this is the highest moisture level, the just right level of moisture that your lungs need. As yet, unfortunately, there's no HME that can give you the same level of moisture that the nose provides. But who knows, maybe one day there will be an HME that can provide as much moisture as the nose. We can see from this chart um, that although after laryngectomy, there's still a humidification deficit or moisture shortage compared to the nose. The Provox Life HMEs have the highest level of moisture when compared to open stoma breathing and where no HME is worn and to the Provox HMEs. So if you really want to reduce your coughing and mucus um, as much as you can, using Provox Life has been proven to be a good option within this study. So I'm now going to hand back over to Jack. Thank you, Alison. So using HME, as Alison has said, is really important and wearing one 24 hours a day um, may actually help to improve your quality of life, reducing the amount you cough, and the amount of mucus you produce. Uh, with the Provox Life range of HMEs, there are different HMEs you can use throughout the day for different situational uses, meaning that there's a HME with a good level of breathability and humidification, whether you're going for a walk, being active, relaxing at home, or even at night when you're sleeping. So there's really a HME for every situation in the day that should be comfortable for you to wear. By wearing your HME all day and all night, the air that you breathe is being kind of warmed and humidified, which can lead to a reduction in mucus and coughing over time, as shown by the Long Body Study. Later on, we'll be talking about the Provost Life Night HME, which has been shown to reduce coughing and mucus overnight, meaning that you can get a good night's sleep whilst also improving your lung health at the same time. Next slide, please. So, following the, uh, the poll at the start, we see that all of you are wearing a HME, which is brilliant, but it's also, it's never too late to increase how, how long you're wearing your HME for as well. And that's really good that you're all wearing them already. So um, anything is better than nothing. So it's it's really important to include wearing HME in your routine, um, even if it's for a few hours a day and building up building on this, building up your tolerance as time goes on um, if you need to. The aim is to wear a HME 24 hours a day every day for the best results and the best lung health. In the first few weeks after you start wearing a HME, uh, you may notice that you're coughing up more mucus than you were previously, and this is completely normal. This is because the cilia in your lungs are starting to work more effectively and are clearing the backlog of mucus um, from your lungs as a result of the increased warmth and humidity from the HME. As time goes on, you'll notice that this really settles down and that you're coughing up mucus less frequently and then any mucus that you are coughing up should be thinner and easier for you to manage. It's really about taking small steps and finding the HME, which is 
appropriate for you with a comfortable breathing resistance, but also a good humidity. Um, so keep your breathing comfortable. Next slide, please. So this is Peter. He's from Sweden and he had his laryngectomy in 2014. Peter uses the Provox Life range of HMEs and changes them based on the situation and activity that he's doing at the time, giving him the most comfortable breathing and also a good level of humidity throughout the day and night, depending on what he's doing. I think we've just got a video for you to play. I do the things I did before my surgery. I love to be active and see friends and family. My favorite thing to do is riding my motorcycle. We take trips to beautiful places to have a bite to eat and look around. When riding my motorcycle, I use Provox Light products. I always put in the one from the red box called Go HME before going for a ride. Provox Lights help me breathe better. When doing the activities I enjoy, I have less problems with mucus and coughing. I even sleep better. When going out in crowded places, I wear the gray filter protects HME to help me feel less exposed to pollen, bacteria, and viruses. The blue one, Energy HME, is great when I am active and need extra help. I always switch to my regular HME when I'm done with my training. I'm grateful for where I am today. I enjoy my life and the Provox Life range gives me the freedom to continue to do the things I love and live life to the fullest. Brilliant. And it's always good to see how different products have affected different people's lives. And you can see that this made a positive impact on Peter's life. As you can see, Peter changes his HME based on the activity and situation that he, he is in to get the best breathability and humidification through the day. Uh, this just allows him to do things that he enjoyed before his surgery, such as riding his motorcycle, and going to the gym, all while reducing the problems um, he had with coughing and mucus, also meaning that he can sleep better than he did before. So I'm just going to hand back to Alison now, and she's going to talk a bit more about the, the longer body study. Great, thank you, Jack. Um, so after laryngectomy, if you've only been using a laryngectomy protector over your stoma, or a foam patch, or even leaving your stoma completely uncovered, and you try an HME for the first time, you might notice that it feels a bit more difficult to breathe through. And although this can feel uncomfortable to start with, trying to persevere for short periods of time uh, to start with can mean you'll become used to the HME gradually, and it may start to feel more comfortable to breathe through sooner than you thought. I just want to mention too, that if a certain HME within the range doesn't feel comfortable, there is the option to start with one that's easier to breathe through and build, build up gradually. Some research has actually shown that people can experience reduced coughing and mucus even after only two weeks of starting to wear an HME. And in the initial stages of starting to wear an HME, some people can experience um, more coughing than before um, when they didn't wear an HME. And this is because the lungs are having to clear out mucus that's been building up um, and, and this will pass. So round about the six to eight week mark, um, people may begin to really notice a reduction in the mucus and secretions that they're producing. And this is a sign that the HME is doing its job well by giving the air that people breathe moisture. Okay, you might find that as time passes, it's easier to breathe through an HME as you get more used to this way of breathing. 
by 12 weeks after starting to wear an HME, um, you may really begin to experience much lower amounts of mucus and coughing with easier breathing, clearer speech and even better sleep. So I'm just going to hand back to Jack now. Perfect. Thank you, Alison. Um, so as you're getting started wearing a HME or even trying the Provox Life range of HMEs, you may find it quite useful to track how many cough times you're coughing uh, per day over a, a four week period. This is a really good visual tool for you uh, to see the real impact that your new routine is having on the number of times you're coughing. Um, you may notice, as Alison said, that initially um, you, the number of coughs you're doing per day actually increases as the lungs um, start to function a bit better and clear the backlog of mucus uh, with new HME. But after this, the number of coughs per day should reduce over the periods and as your lungs get used to wearing the new HME and your lung health improves. So if you'd like, you can scan the QR codes in the bottom left corner of the slide um, to download the cough tracker, but we can also send it out as an email uh, following this webinar for you to use if you'd like to. And back to Alison. Okay, thank you. Okay, so let's look at the second finding of the Italian study on Provox Life HMEs and base plates. So the study found that when people used the Provox Life range instead of the Provox range, they slept better at night. And because of this, they didn't need to use as much medication to help them sleep. This was a really important finding because it showed that people not only experience less coughing during the day, but also experience less coughing and lung complaints at night, meaning that they got a better night's sleep to the extent that half of the patients in the study were able to stop taking medicine to help them sleep. And being able to cut out sleep medicine was a really positive step. We'll take a look at why overnight coughing can be reduced by the Provox Life HME shortly. And back to Jack. Thank you. Um, so, as we all know, a good night's sleep sets you up for the day ahead. Um, over time, poor sleep can affect every aspect of your life, from fatigue, tiredness, um, to lack of motivation and an overall poor emotional well-being. Poor sleep can even have an effect on your immunity, which is why it's so important to get a good night's sleep. Um, a good quality sleep can have a, a really positive impact on your general well-being and quality of life. So we're just going to have a look at some hints and tips now um, for improving um, your sleep that you're having. So here we've put together five tips for getting a good night's sleep. Um, it'd be great to hear from any of you if you've got any hints and tips for getting a restful night's sleep that work for you, especially following your surgery. Um, if you'd like to put these in the chat box at the bottom of the, the webinar um, to share them with everyone and we'll be able to share them later on. That would be brilliant. So, Tip number one, um, if possible, try going to bed and waking up at the same time each day so your body clock gets used to this routine, so you're getting tired at the same time and waking at the same time. Um, tip number two is about trying to create a restful environment in your bedroom so you associate it with sleep and restfulness. So you can do this by keeping it cool, dark, and quiet so it's a nice relaxing environment for you to go to when you're going to sleep and as we know caffeine is a stimulant so try avoiding this in the evenings um, as it can have a negative effect on you not only getting to sleep but also the quality of sleep that you're having once you get to sleep if you're anything like me um, and you like a cup of tea in the evening why not try having a decaf tea instead? Um, because this won't have a negative impact on, on your quality of sleep that evening. Um, if you can, 
try not using a smartphone or electronic device before beds, as these emit something called a blue light, um, which has been shown to negatively impact on your sleep. Um, I know that some phones and tablets have a nighttime setting uh, which reduces the blue light that they emit. So this may help make a difference as well for you. And tip number five from us is try adding some meditation or mindfulness into your evening routine to help relax you ready for a restful night after a busy day. Uh, it can be really good and useful to help clear your mind and slow down after a, a, a busy day, a stressful day. On the 26th of October, uh, we will be running a virtual yoga experience, uh, which will give you some helpful breathing and relaxation activities to do, uh, to help you wind down, um, ready for a relaxing, refreshing night's sleep. And I'm just going to hand back to Alison. Thanks, Jack. Some great tips there. Um, if you're not already doing some of these things, then they're really good ideas. And like Jack said, if you've got any other tips, you can share them with us all. We'd love to know um, using the Q&A. OK, so I mentioned earlier that when people in the study used the Provox Life HMEs, they coughed less at night got a better night's sleep than before and as a result half of the people were able to stop taking medication to help them sleep. So why was this? Well what we do know from previous studies is that the more hours in the day people wear HMEs the greater the reduction in coughing and mucus is in general. However, within the new range of Provox Life HMEs, as Jack described earlier, there are different HMEs for different situations. Some HMEs have been made so that they're easier to breathe through than others, depending on the activity someone's doing. So for example, the HME that you may wear to exercise needs to be easier to breathe through as you're breathing more heavily and getting out of breath more so than an HME that you would wear at home when you're just sitting still, relaxing and not getting out of breath. The same as what you do when you do exercise. So each HME in the Provox Life range has been specifically designed for comfortable breathing for the majority of people for that situation. And it may be that you only use maybe two or three of the HMEs in the range, but it's important for you to know that there are HMEs available regardless of the situation that you choose to do. Now the night HME, which is the HME recommended for overnight when you're actually sleeping, has a very high level of humidification or moisture that it gives to the air that you breathe. And this is because the foam in the night HME is more dense and this allows for more moisture um, to be given to that breathed in air when you sleep. When you are asleep, when we're all asleep, we're at rest um, and our breathing's nice and calm. So most people are able to breathe through this denser foam and still find it comfortable. So the HME has been specifically designed for overnight use. It has the highest moisture level of all the HMEs in the range, as I've said, and it packs the moisture into your lungs as you're asleep, having a really positive impact on things like coughing and mucus. The more moisture, the better effects on the lungs and the less coughing and mucus that you should experience. So wearing the night HME can be hugely beneficial. And this is what we saw in the study, that when people wore the night HME, they coughed much less than before. And as a result, got a better night's sleep. And I don't know about you, but a good night's sleep is such a precious thing. So we can see a picture of the night HME on the screen. It has side vents for the air to enter and exit as you breathe, and these vents can be covered by the thumb and the fingers to allow you to speak if you've got a voice prosthesis. So moving on to the next slide, please. Thank you. So the picture here just shows us that night HME fits into any of the Provox Life adhesives or base plates. You don't need to just use night HME with the night base plate. If you use any of the other base plates in the range, 
the night HME will fit into it. So you might use stability, standard or sensitive base plates, and you don't want to take these off at bedtime to put anything else on. You're quite happy to wear these overnight and that's absolutely fine. The night HME is gonna fit into all of these. Okay, next slide, please. So here on this um, picture, it just shows that in the Italian study, a large number of patients chose to wear the night HME overnight, therefore getting those high levels of moisture into the breathed air as they slept. And just to recap on the benefits of the night HME, as well as having the highest moisture level of all the HMEs in the Provox Life range, it's soft and comfortable to breathe through overnight when you're sleeping. It's very smooth. It's got no hard edges um, to press onto the skin around the stoma as you're maybe um, you know, turning over in the night. So it's a really good, good option. So I'm going to hand back over to Jack for the next poll. Thank you, Alison. That's really interesting that 80% that of people actually wear the, um, the night HME at night time. So following that data, um, we just wanted to ask, do you currently wear a HME at night? We've got yes, most nights, occasionally, and no. And if so, what HME do you wear at night? We've got a, f we've got a few different options there from the Provox Life and the Provox HMEs and also other HMEs. And if you're using other HMEs, um, it might be good just to say which ones you're using as well in the chat. So we'll just give you a couple of moments with that. Coming up, we will have some, some helpful tips as well um, on getting started with the Provost Life Night HME um, further in the webinar, but also about wearing a HME at night in general when you sleep in. Okay. I think most people have yeah. um, answered to the poll questions. Perfect. We'll have a little look at those results. That's brilliant. So looking at this, 80% of you do wear a HME at night, um, which is reflects the data from the study. And 20% of you also wearing one occasionally, which is brilliant. And none of you are never wearing a HME at night. So that's really good to hear. 60% um, of you do also wear the Provox Life Night HME. So you get on with it quite well. 10% um, use the Provox Life Home and 10% use the Go. And then we've got 10% using the extra flow and extra moist. So a good spread of different HMEs, but it's it's brilliant that you're all wearing HME most of the time um, overnight as well. Perfect. So as we've seen, you're all wearing a HME most of the time at night, which is absolutely brilliant. Um, just some tips for getting started or improving your tolerance to, to wearing a HME overnight. Um, it might be best not to put um, it on when you're being too active or immediately just before you're going to bed. You could practice using the night HME or your other HMEs just before you're going to sleep. Something that people find uh, that helps um, is putting their night HME on an hour or so before they go to bed, when they're sat watching the television or reading a book, when, when your breathing is nice and relaxed. This allows you to get used to the difference in the breathing resistance between the night HME and your daytime HME as the foam is thicker. So a couple more tips for getting started uh, with your HMEs at night would be, Make sure you always wash your hands before changing the HME and cleaning your stoma as well. But remember, any new routine takes time to build up and it's important to persevere. 
uh, with it to really build that habit and tolerance as well going forward. So perseverance is really the key to success here with wearing your HMEs at night. Next slide, please. And I'm just going to hand over back to Alison. Lovely, thanks, Jack. So the third very important finding that the Italian study showed was that as well as Provox Life HMEs performing better in terms of the amount of moisture they give to the breathed air after laryngectomy and therefore having more beneficial effect on the lungs, they were also more comfortable to breathe through. Now, this is a really important finding because we know from talking to many people that breathing through a Provox HME is sometimes a bit uncomfortable, especially when they're walking or doing a bit of light exercise, such as light housework. So much so that some people actually have to take their HME out to catch their breath. And when the HME is taken out, of course, no moisture has been given to the breathed air and coughing and mucus are likely to start again. So this was a, a really positive finding um, in the study of the Provox Life HMEs, meaning that people could keep them on for long periods of time and get the full benefits for their lungs. And back to Jack. It's a bit like ping pong, isn't it? <laughs> Perfect. So... With building up your tolerance, at first, you may notice that the breathing feels different um, as then a lot more, more resistance than if you're used to breathing through an open stoma. This is completely normal and something that you will get used to over time as your tolerance to wearing a HME grows and improves. If you find that initially, um, the night HME has too much resistance for you, then you could talk to your clinician about HMEs with less resistance as you build up to wearing the, the night HME at night, such as the home HME, which provides a good level of humidity and breathability while you build up your resistance. Make sure, as we said before, that you are relaxed when you start wearing the HME. Um, as this will mean your breathing is nice and settled. Um, as you get used to wearing your HME though, you can build up your activity level gradually as you find it more comfortable wearing the different HME. As the study has shown, wearing the night HME can really improve your lung health, resulting in better breathing over the long term, reduced coughing and reduced mucus, which is brilliant. And so, so here we have some commonly asked questions that we've been asked um, and we'll just talk through them. If you've got any other questions, please do put them in the chats and we'll answer those too. If, any, if you've thought of any questions during the presentation. So the first question we've got is, if I work at night, um, do I wear the go or the night HME? And as Alison has said, the night HME is designed for sleeping and having the highest level of humidity, humidification, and has been developed with comfort in mind. Other Provox Life HMEs are better suited for activities not involving sleeping. And depending on the type of work you do, you might prefer to use one of those different ones. Go may be the most appropriate HME for you whilst working as it's got, it's very breathable and also has good level of humidification. Um, but also you could consider the Protect or even the Energy, depending on what's comfortable for you whilst you're working. Okay, so the next question is, I'm using Provox Life Home HME during the night. Why should I change HME for the night? Um, well, home is a good option, definitely is. I mean, it's, it's, it's quite high in humidification, but the night HME is even higher in humidification. 
So if you can um, breathe comfortably through the night HME, it's probably going to have a bigger impact on your lung health and on reducing coughing and mucus, as we've said. But and you can if you if you don't find the, the night HME comfortable immediately, um, you know, as we've said within the presentation, you can start building it up gradually. If you don't find it comfortable after that, then, you know, home is a good option. That's the next best option, I would say, because it's it's still going to give a, a lot of moisture to your lungs. But night is the HME that will give most moisture to your lungs. OK, lovely. So the next one is I find it difficult to use a HME when I sleep. So I don't think I can use the Probox Life night. So if you don't use a HME both day and night, it's likely that you'll have more mucus and cough more and won't sleep as well as you could do. Um, you wouldn't take your nose off at night. And similarly, you should not take your HME off at night because you lose all the warmth and humidity that's built up in your lungs. Um, the night HME is specifically designed for night or when you're sleeping it's more comfortable and has a better humidity than other HMEs so if you've tried other HMEs at night and not this one I'd recommend giving it a go um, if you find it difficult to start with as we mentioned earlier build up your tolerance by wearing HMEs more during the day and wearing the HME the night HME an hour or so before bed just while you're relaxing and to reiterate, you can you can use any of the HMEs um, if you don't like the night HME, but something is definitely always better than nothing. Okay. All right. So thank you. Next question is. I use a laryngectomy tube during the night, so I don't think I can wear Provox Life Night HME. So all the HMEs in the Provox Life range fit into base plates, laryngectomy tubes and stoma studs. So even if you have to wear a laryngectomy tube overnight or even a, a stoma stud, the HMEs will definitely fit in. Um, they've all been increased by one millimeter. So the HMEs are now 23 millimeters in diameter, but the base plates, the larry tubes and the stoma buttons have also been changed. Um, to be the 23 millimeter um, diameter. So the, the HMEs fit into all of the attachments. And the final question that we've got on the, this slide is, why should I wear a different HME and adhesive during the night? So the Provox Life nighttime adhesive or base plate has been developed to meet kind of users needs for a really good nighttime solution. The night adhesive is different to the daytime ones. It's got a different glue, a hydrocolide. Um, so it's, it's good for anyone who experiences irritation of the skin around their stoma. It has a really high water content, which is soothing and cooling to the skin. Um, your skin will feel refreshed and can then Go back to your daytime base plate and HME um, when you wake up in the morning. But if you want to keep um, your other base plates on, the daytime base plates on, that's absolutely fine. But the nighttime HME will will fit with all of those Provox Life base plates, and it's it's a personal preference. Okay. So just, so, sorry, Jack, it's... Oh, that's okay, Alison. I'm getting muddled up with this, which slides I'm <laughs> talking about. So as, as I mentioned earlier, we'll be, we'll be running a virtual bedtime yoga experience on the 26th of October. This will be a guided session with a qualified yoga instructor um, and we'll focus on relaxation and breathing, something that you may find beneficial to help you wind down and relax before bed. Um, and it would be really great to see some of you there to see, to gain those skills and 
experience. So you can register using the QR codes on the screen to the right, um, but we'll also put a link in the chat box and send out a, an invitation by email as well following this webinar. And back to Alison. Great, my turn now, thank you. So I thought we could just finish off by summing up the main findings of the Provox Life clinical study that we've spoken about today. The first important finding was that after six weeks of using the new Provox Life HMEs and adhesives, people experience significant improvements in their lung health in terms of coughing and mucus, um, with a reduction in something called force expectorations. And this is where somebody has to cough uh, multiple times on purpose to clear mucus. So people experienced a reduction in that. And people also experienced a significant reduction in dry coughing. Um, this was not only the case during the day, um, but at night, um, meaning that people slept better and had less need to take their medicine to help them sleep. There was a significant reduction in people's shortness of breath, meaning that they were um, breathing more comfortably. Something which we haven't mentioned before now, but I think is definitely worth mentioning, is that in the study, uh, people found that there was a reduction in skin irritation. Um, we don't even know exactly why. It, it's maybe because they were experiencing less mucus and therefore less mucus was being um, working its way under the, their base plate because we know that if, if there's mucus lying under the base plates, this can sometimes cause the skin to become sore. So that may have been, been the reason, but that's quite um, an important finding, this reduction in skin irritation. Also, people who use Provox Life HMEs had better feelings of well-being and felt less anxious, which is really interesting and, and, and an important finding of the study. So we are so delighted that the Provox Life range has produced such good outcomes for the people who took part in the study. We're also hearing great things from people who have started using Provox Life HMEs here in the UK. So we're really thrilled we've been able to make really positive differences to people's lung health and well-being after laryngectomy. Okay, so that just concludes um, the presentation for today. I am um, going to hand back to Jack in a minute, but thank you everybody for listening. Um, as we've said, any questions or comments, you can use the chat, the Q&A, we'd love to hear your thoughts. Um, and I'm going to just hand back to Jack. Um, just thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Um, as Alison said, thank you all for um, watching and I hope we've given you some, some good hints and tips and you found it useful. As always, um, we have plenty of support services available here at ATOS Care. Um, our customer care team at ATOS, together with our amazing nursing team, um, are always available on hand to help you with any information or support um, you would like. So please do reach out. Um, the contact email is on, on the screen there. You can always access previous webinars via the ATOS Care website, where you may find useful topics that you'd find interesting and like of benefit for yourselves. Coming up over the next couple of months, we have the yoga session, which I mentioned earlier, discussions around staying healthy during winter, a winter gardening tips and session and some Christmas coffee mornings and conversations. So it'd be really great to see some of you there to enjoy those. And I think that takes us to the end of the presentation part of the webinar. We'd now be happy to take any of your questions um, or, or comments that you have. Thank you. Just a couple of things in the chat and the Q&A. Um, so someone said, I normally use a Go HME both during the day and at night. Um, I'll try the night to see if it's better for me than the Go um, that I currently use. That would be really interesting to find out if, if you start to use the night HME at night and the Go during the day, if you manage to um, 
you don't see a difference, a change in coughing and mucus. So keep us posted on that. That's, that's interesting. I think if you could use a night HME, it would certainly be beneficial because it's got that really high moisture level, which is higher than Go. But obviously, Go is, is good for during the day when you're getting up slightly out of breath. It just allows you to breathe comfortably. So great. Um, there's also another question. Why wasn't the study done in Great Britain? <laughs> The answer is I have no idea. Um, it's it was something that was initiated um, in Italy by the surgeon, speech and language therapist. We did do something in Great Britain called an early experience, where before the Provox Life Range came out onto prescription, um, the, a, a, a group of people actually used the HMEs and the base plates and gave us really good feedback on them. Um, so we did have a little bit of insight before they came out onto prescription um, of what people thought of them. So some of the comments that we got were in line with the study. So less coughing, less mucus, easier to breathe through. Some people said their speech was clearer, um, less irritation, that the base plates were more comfortable to wear because they've been sort of designed in a different way. So we, we do have some uh, data from the UK, but the formal clinical study was done um, in Rome. Um, and another question, are you going to do a presentation on problems with base plates and adhesives? As I have a deep stoma that I can't get the right, and I can't get the right cover. Um, yes, we, we, we do sort of, um, sort of get togethers and presentations on all sorts of things on an ongoing basis. Um, and this may be something that the nursing team can also help with yeah. um, by requesting a visit from from your your the area the ATOS care nurse in your area. So if you get in contact with your best start nurse or um, customer care uh, representative, and they'll be able to put a a referral in for the nurse to come out and see you and see what products might work best for you. Yeah, and it can be tricky getting something to fit into a stoma that's a bit deeper. The good thing about the Provox Life range, I don't know which base plates you've tried. Um, the Provox Life base plates are a lot softer. So the, the actual part that the HME inserts into it's softer, so it can be really bent and inserted into um, stomas that are deeper. So that's something that, um, you know, you one of the nurses um, can, can try with you, try different types of things and, and give little tips just to try and get something that suits. Absolutely. Yes. Okay, I've got a question here. Sorry, Alison, you go ahead. No, go ahead, Jack, no, sorry. Okay, um, so John's asked, are there any plans to reduce the width of the life base plate as the current design impinges on my breastbone the current design requires me to raise the plates to a position that traps mucus. Okay, I wonder, I wonder which base plates you are using. Are you able to tell us which one you're using? Certainly, if you're using a standard or a, a sensitive base plate that comes in three different sizes, so there's the smallest one that's round. Ah, stability, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it comes in one, on in one um, size. Um, okay. Again, I wonder if a bit of nursing input would. Potentially, yeah, that's that's always something that the nursing team would be happy to come out and look at and troubleshoot with yourself Yeah, to see if there's a solution out there for you. Yeah, because of course the stability yeah. has the, the reinforced panel in the middle of it that's vertical. I wonder if you've tried just turning that slightly, um, because it doesn't need to sit absolutely in that position ver perfectly vertically it can be turned um just to try and, and get the best fit possible um but 
certainly that's I mean that's something we can try and have a think about do, do you use hands-free speech can I ask do you use a a, a free hands flexi voice is that why you use stability okay okay yeah it's it's yeah oh you're in mull okay okay you would love a visit but don't think anybody would come to mull oh well we can we can certainly i wonder if we can liaise a little bit um on email or um even have a a virtual meeting just to try and see if we can help that might be something that we can we can organize if you would I think just... it's a different john that was saying that to the original john that was asking about the the breastbone and the size ah, okay. <laughs> okay so it is so it is okay well we could still you know if you were keen mm -hmm. to jack would that be yeah yeah if there's something in particular that you need help with <laughs> I am a different John. Sure, um, there's John. something in particular that you were struggling with, um, then I'm sure we could arrange some some virtual supports um, to to see how we can help you. Great. Is there any other questions <laughs> that anybody has just before we finish? Anything anybody would like to make a comment on or? No. Brilliant. Well, thank you everyone for your questions and I hope you found it informative. Yeah, thanks everybody. Hope you hope you find things interesting. Um, so I hope everybody has a, a lovely afternoon and uh, hope to see you next time. Take care. Bye everybody. Bye. Bye. Thanks everyone. There is a survey that will pop up afterwards, by the way. If you could fill that in that would be great <laughs> oh Alison there's a quick question there does yeah. the go have a protective bar like the hands free why is the knight not divided in the box good question right let's have a look does the go have a protective bar like the hands free um I, I wonder if you're talking about the base the base plate the the, the, the mucus shield on the back, is that what, with the protective bar, do you mean the mucus shield under? Or is it the, um, for the hands free, the, the clothing attachment stop? Um, Possibly the arc. Accidental occlusion. Okay, so all of the HMEs have something called a mucus shield on the, the underside, so the bit that fits into the base plate. And the purpose of the mucus shield is if you've got a lot of coughing and mucus gets onto the back, it doesn't soak into the foam in the middle of the HME. So you can, you can take the HME out and give it a wipe and a clean and put it back in. Obviously, if it was quite gunked up with mucus you would want to put a new just throw it away and put a new HME in um ah the goat is easily blocked by a t-shirt okay okay so yeah it's the the arch that I mentioned um there's nothing at the minute um that can be used over go are you finding that when you're exercising your your clothing is getting sort of your t-shirts getting sucked into the HME. John, yeah, okay. What kind of exercise are you doing, can I ask? So you're right, the free hands, if you're, Okay, so we have a we have another HME within the range called Energy, um, 
it's a white HME. So in the Provox Life range, it's specifically designed for somebody who's cycling or running and really getting quite out of breath. Just intended to be worn for that period of time that you're exercising. So it's white and it's got blue foam in the middle. And what this has, because I think this will be the solution for you, it's got um, extra air vents on, on the top um, to, to let the air, to let more air through, as well as the side. So that might be something you could try. Um, if you still find that your clothing is, is getting sucked in, um, it's, yeah, it's, well, we don't currently have anything that fits over the top of the standard HMEs. It would just be fitting over the, the, the free hands, but, you know, do, do you, do you ever use free hands? Ah, so it's the energy that you're finding that's blocking the white one. Okay. 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 Do you ever use free hands, John? You ever tried it? Okay. Yeah, we, we do just have the arch for the free hands, unfortunately. Um, which is a, that's a, that's a pity. Sorry to hear that. Jack, did you have any other questions there that you've... So we just had another question through. I find that after using the night adhesive and night HME, the following morning the adhesive has softened so, um, so much that it's come adrift with the Larry tube and HME attached. How do I resolve this? So... Is, is there any particular reason, I suppose, why, why you're wearing the nighttime adhesive, whether your standard adhesive would work for you overnight, if, if that might mean that it doesn't come loose um, through, through the day? I don't know, Alison, if you have any thoughts on that? So... I think people wear the night um, the night base plate if they're sort of having a bit of skin reaction during mm. the day to the normal base plate because the night HME is made of hydrogel. So it's it's really cooling to the skin. But we know that some people can with mucus um, and even sweating overnight, it can it can slide a little bit. So if you find that that is um, something that obviously is it's we don't want that to happen. Um, you could possibly try um, one of the sensitive base plates, um, which is made of hydrocolloid, which is also good for the skin, um, nice and gentle on the skin as well. Any more questions in the chat, Jack, that we need to just I don't answer? Think, um, I don't think there are. The so a comment, um, a question, why the Knights HMEs aren't divided in the box? They <laughs> come in a, a flat sheet. They do, they do. And I, I, I would assume it's because, um, because most of the time you're just putting it on when you're going to bed. So you don't need to carry any around in your pocket during the daytime. So a lot of people just keep their box of night HMEs just by the bedside cabinet, just because that's when they tend to put it on. Except if you're going away for a couple of nights and you only need a couple. I suppose. <laughs> you get your scissors but at least you're prepared yeah. then if you've got a strip. Exactly. Okay, well, I hope that's, um, I hope that's answered everybody's questions. Um, and uh, oh, yeah. we've got a hand there from oh. Mohammed. Okay. Did did you want to talk, Mohammed, or are you going to put a message in the chat? Yeah, I will sing to me now. Yep. Yes. Uh, thank you for this informative uh, meeting. 
Oh, thank you're you. Welcome. You're yeah. welcome. Thank you. Thanks for listening today. Question. Uh, is there any specific uh, type of base plate for using the uh, hands-free device? Now I'm using the uh, Flexiderm. You're using a flexiderm with the hands-free device, is that Yes, I'm using ah, the okay. base plate, yeah. Okay, so yes, there, in answer to that, there is a, a, a stronger, uh, more appropriate base plate for using with hands-free, um, designed to start withstand um, the pressure of speaking hands-free. In the Provox range, which the flexiderm is in, it's called Stabilibase. Um, and in the newer Provox Life range, it's called stability. Um, so yeah, you could speak to your clinician about something that's going to um, be a bit more robust for hands-free speaking. Uh, this means that they have to stop using uh, Flexiderm. Yeah, so you would. It's the same material as Flexiderm. The Stabilibase. It's the it's the same material. Um, it just has extra, a bit of extra stickability, and it's got a sort of um, reinforced area in the middle um, that's that makes the base plate stick and makes it stronger. But it, it's the same actual. It's the same material, it's acrylic material with glue. Okay, thank you. Okay, worth yeah. a try. Worth a try. Yeah, see if you like it. It might make such a difference to your freehand speaking that you think, yeah, I want to continue with this one. Always worth a try. Okay. Any more questions? No. Okay. Thanks again, everyone. Great. Um, hopefully we will see you all again soon and maybe next week for the yoga absolutely yeah. right. yeah. take care everyone great thanks everybody have a good day bye, bye. You can fill out the bye. survey as well that would be great it should pop up when you leave let us know if there's anything any future topics you want to hear about or um, anything we can improve on etc that would be great yeah hopefully see you all again soon Thanks, bye. Thank you, bye.